What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Exoria. Oh, yeah, guys. We're starting to look like we got some technology going on around here these days, which is fantastic. This means that we're able to make things better. We're able to maybe start looking at automations at some point in the near future. Yeah, I'm liking where we are right now. Um, I was just looking at our quest book a little bit ago, and we saw last episode, the last quest that we had available that we can do right now, aside from bees, is more circuitry, right? And this wants us to get an acid bucket, it wants us to make a carpenter, and it wants us to make a refined circuit board. So we saw at the end of last episode, the acid bucket, I was thinking that we weren't going to be able to get this until we go to another dimension because it says it's from Misty World, however... I forgot that spawned in the overworld all around us, aside from lava and some water now and then, is acid. Yes, that's the acid that we need to make the acid bucket. So I'll have to go and collect one of those. Um, so yeah, to make a refined circuit board, we need our carpenter made, and we need a circuit board with some iron nuggets. That's not so bad. It does require acid as well in order for us to make this. Okay. Uh, the carpenter requires some bronze, requires a sturdy casing, and some glass. The sturdy casing requires dawnstone plates, which we can now make a whole lot easier now that we have this metal press set up. Yeah, we can make this so much easier just by putting dawnstone on there, and it will stamp it out. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> instead of having to melt it down and then cast it into plates, we can now just take the ingots directly and turn them into plates, which is amazing. It's almost like we have technology these days. Um, so we did have a circuit board that we made last episode. Let's go upstairs and grab that so we can make the sturdy casing. This guy. Mm hmm So we need that, and we need the Dawnstone plates, and then we can make ourselves the... Uh, sturdy casing. Okay, so the Donso plates go around our circuit board here. There's a sturdy casing. We do need to get ourselves some bronze. Do we have bronze in here? I'm actually not entirely sure. Electrum, copper, tin. I don't see bronze. Okay, so we're gonna have to make some bronze. Not a big deal. We'll do that here in a little bit. And then, uh, we did need another circuit board, like I said, for this. I was gonna make, well, I guess 10 of them? Well, 10 recipes of these vacuum tubes. And then we'll see where we're at <laughs> with the rest of this process. So yeah, we need to put the metal press mold wire in this guy. Okay. And then we can throw our copper ingots on there, turn them into the copper wires. And then we can come over to our automated engineer's workbench and make sure we have this set to the right setting here. Uh, we're going to be making vacuum tubes, okay? So we need redstone, glass, and then these copper wires that we're stamping out right now in order to do that. So I'll just throw those in there, and I'll start making these uh, one recipe at a time. Okay, so we're going to end up doing five different recipes of this, which is going to be fine because we're going to need a lot of these vacuum tubes, I can only imagine. Mm. So the circuit board, once again, we have vacuum tubes, copper plates, plus redstone chipsets. I do need to get some more redstone chipsets being made over on our lasers. Uh, getting better MJ, getting better power, the build craft power to power those lasers better. Definitely something that I'm going to be looking at here sometime in the near future. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I might have a few extras. I did put a chest underneath our assembly table here. Um, yeah, so it will, instead of throwing those chipsets into the world, if you have an inventory next to it, it will place them into an inventory. So yeah, there is one chipset there. We're going to want a few more. Let's do, I don't know, let's do an odd number. So <laughs> it'll even out with the one that we have in here already. Uh, so we have that, and then we are going to need to power our sterling engines. Let's grab some more charcoal. Oh boy, I don't know. I kind of want to just fill those all the way up, but that's a lot. We have six engines there, so we can just kind of like separate these into sixes. Did I do that right? I think so. Yeah, okay, we're good. Yeah, we can just put 24 charcoal into each one of these, which will power the assembly table, which will start making our lasers, and everything will be happy. Uh, I probably will go outside and make sure that our charcoal pit is producing charcoal. I can't remember if we already have some made. I sometimes go out there and just fill it up and set it and forget it. And then we have charcoal ready to go, which is a great surprise. Did I do that last time? I did. Oh, boy. Yeah, so there should be a stack of the forestry logs in here. 
So we got charcoal for days, which is plenty of power for us. I will uh, grab some more of our logs, turn it into <laughs> the uh, wood piles, fill that back up and get that going again. So we have plenty of charcoal for the next time. I think we have plenty of wood in here. We do. So one, two, three, four. Go ahead and do that. Wood piles. And then we will need our flint and steel. Cool. So, yep, I got some things I'm going to do around here. We really just got to wait for those chipsets to be made. I'll start researching if there's better ways for us to make uh, the build craft power. I can only imagine there's going to be something better than the Sterling engine that we currently are doing. I know build craft has things like combustion engines and things that run off fuel and all this, which we don't really have access to at this point. But there might be something. I don't know. I'll have to take a look and see what I can come up with. Anyway, let me uh, finish this up. We'll wait for uh, the chipsets to be made, and we'll be back, guys. All right. So I went ahead and I made a bunch of bronze. I did 27 copper and 9 tin in the ember setup is how we ended up making that once again. Uh, eventually, we'll get better ways of making bronze, I assume, using, like, the arc furnace or something along those lines. Uh, so anyway, we are pretty much good to go here to make ourselves a carpenter. We didn't need two glass, six bronze, and then a sturdy casing, which I have already made. So let's make ourselves the carpenter. So carpenter make. Okay, very good. And then I think that I should complete the quest, shouldn't it? What else are we missing here? Oh, we still have to make the refined circuit board, right? So refined circuit board is the circuit boards plus iron nuggets. And then we also need to get ourselves a bucket of acid, which I have not done yet. Mm -hmm. We did see where it was, though. Do I have slime sling? I have slime boots. Whoops. Uh, can we do this a little bit faster, maybe? Boink. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so we saw that there was some acid, like, over in this general area. Please do not jump into the acid. That would be bad. Yeah, so we have a decent amount of it right over here, which is fine. We just need to grab a source. There it is. All right. And then I guess we can just use our warp thing back. <laughs> It'll be faster. Just go back to our home portal here. I did move the cobblestone generator. Well, at least I have moved a cobblestone generator outside, so we're not downstairs. I just figured it takes up less room here. Anyway, uh, I just thought it'd be better moving it out from underneath and having it available upstairs. Um, so anyway, acid bucket plus the carpenter, we are going to need another thing to power it. So MV wire connector plus another one of these insulated wires plus one more stone slab. Okay, so I think we should have everything together here. So we can place our stone slab there, our carpenter here, the MV wire connector right there. Shift right click this one and right click it up there. All right, so now we got power to this guy. Uh, next step is we have to start setting the recipe again. I have forgotten. No, I'd have not It's this plus some copper nuggets. Uh, we do need the acid in there. Okay, let's gr I'm not copper nuggets iron nuggets. Let's grab the iron All right, I don't know how many we're gonna need. Oh Can we not okay? I wonder uh, can we use iron ore berries? Yes, we can perfect perfect All right I forgot we can't just craft the ingots into nuggets in this mod pack. It's like, oh no, we're going to have to cast them all out. And then I remembered the ore berries. Ore berries are so good. All right. Let's do that. Okay. So we are making our first refined circuit board. I honestly don't know how many of these we need. Uh, making this stuff really isn't that bad. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and make a few of them. I assume we're going to need more than one in the future anyway. So we'll just do that. Quest complete more circuitry. Okay. So moving on, uh, automating crops and then the new art of crafting. This sounds like that's going to get us somewhere. Green power requires automating crops. Okay. Well, automating crops would probably get us into a better power supply. If we have a forestry farm going uh, that's automating crops, we can collect things and turn it into biofuel. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's time to automate crops. I've developed some sort of multi-farm that can do the work for me. It will make out, I will make it out of sandstone as it's probably the easiest to get for me. Okay. 
So we do have a decent amount of sand that we can turn into sandstone. In fact, I think I've already made a decent amount of sandstone as well. I don't know what this costs. <laughs> Farm block. What does that cost? That requires 10 electron tubes. So we have not made a thermionic fabricator, which is what you normally make in order to make these. What's the recipe? Yeah, a thermionic fabricator. So it does want us to make one of these, even though it doesn't like come out and say that we have to make it. Yeah, we definitely have to do that. Okay, so we are going to need 10 electron tubes. What's the other things that it says in here that we are going to need? Uh, gearbox, valve, and hatch. Farm, gearbox, farm, valve, farm, hatch. Okay, so that's pretty much all the different farm stuff. The farm valves require 10 gears, that's easy. Farm hatch requires a trap door and a farm block. And two gears, not so bad. Uh, did we look at all this stuff? Did we look at the gearbox? Okay, the gearbox is just some gears plus another farm block. Uh, so in total, this wanted us to make 32 farm blocks, and then we can turn some of these farm blocks into these parts later since it requires a farm block in each one. So we need to get ourselves 32 tin electron tubes. Well, let's start a little bit earlier than that. We do need to make the thermionic fabricator. Okay, so this guy right here requires us to have yet another circuit board, which I have just used all of them. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we have more chips being made. Perfect, so we can do that. We have the vacuum tubes in here. We just need one copper plate, I think, in order to make the other chip set that we're gonna need. Let's put that bronze away for now. We need one copper. And this is already set to plate, yep. All right, we'll just throw that right on there. That'll turn to the plate. We can make our chip set, and then we can start making this other thing. Uh, we are going to need more of the Dawn Stone, so let's throw that in here. We'll go grab, eat more Dawn Stone. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we're out. We have five Dawn Stone. Okay, so Dawn Stone was made with one part gold, one part copper. Let's make, how about eight and eight? I think that's probably reasonable. Okay, we're gonna need some more of our ember. We'll go throw that over into this thing. Uh, you know what, we will just cast them out into ingots. I was considering putting this, the plate cast here, but we'll do ingots and we can always use our machine downstairs to turn them into plates, should we need plates. Okay, so that should be mixing. I'll throw some embers in there. We'll go grab <laughs> the circuit downstairs before it despawns since we don't have a chest for that to eject into. Very good. All right, well, it's gonna be a little bit of time while we wait for these things to happen here. So again, I will cut and wait for things to happen and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I made the thermionic fabricator. I hooked it up to our power supply and I made 33 of these vacuum tubes because you have to make them three at a time. Uh, <laughs> we need a total of 32 of these. It's pretty much like one vacuum tube is gonna equal one electron tube, right? Uh, anyway, so let's start putting, oh, does it have to be vanilla glass in order to go in there? I haven't even looked at this yet. Is it vanilla? Try that. That goes in there. Okay. So yes. Um, so it's 510 and then four vacuum tubes equals four electron tubes. And it looks like each recipe uses a full thing of glass. So we are going to need, I think, 10 more glass in order to do this. All right. Let's put that in there. Electron tubes. All right, so we're at the 20 now. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay here before it like processes them. All right, so we ended up with like three extra blocks of glass in there, that's fine. Uh, this is gonna be constantly drawing power from our power source over here, but it doesn't draw a whole lot of power, I don't think. Uh, things that do use a lot of power, however, are like the uh, plate stamper and our automated engineer's workbench. So that drained a lot of the power from our battery over here and that is slowly recharging from our two windmills, but it is recharging. Um, we can also, if we don't care about these two pieces of glass, which I don't really care about, click off one of those things, make this an invalid recipe, it'll stop drawing power and then this thing would charge faster, I do believe. Yeah, I don't really know how much power that takes, but since we're not really gonna be using it right now, we might as well just allow the, um, the battery charge up faster. So we have our 32 tin electron tubes now. 
I used uh, quite a bit of our tin. In fact, I had to go through and farm a lot of copper too, uh, using the water can <laughs> and these ore berries. I just got done processing pretty much all of our ores once again, all of our nuggets, all the stuff that we had processed or I guess gathered over here. This, all of these are uh, been smelted. I just got done smelting all the iron we had. There's 27 more ingots worth. Let's take the rest of that coal out. Yes. Okay. So now that we're at this point, I'm put this stuff away and the glass. Don't need that or that slab or this charcoal. Okay. So now that we're at this point, we can look at making the farm blocks. We need to make 32 of these. We have the 10 electron tubes. We need copper ingots. So that's a full stack of copper. It is 32. Let me double check one more time. Pretty sure it's 32. Yes, 32. So a full stack of copper. That's going <laughs> to once again, take all of our copper away. That's fine. Uh, we need 32, no, 64 slabs. Um, is there any particular type? Nope. It is accepts any slab wood. Okay. So I believe in order to make slabs, we need to take uh, planks and use our saw on them. It's going to eat all the durability, but that'll be fine. Okay. So there is that. Put the saw away. Uh, we also are going to need, it looks like it wanted us to do sandstone. So we need 32 sandstone and we have 44 in here. Yeah, we can do that quite quickly. Cool. So we should have everything we need in order to make the farm blocks. This one. It says it doesn't like that sandstone. Does it need to be smooth sandstone or did I just click the wrong one? Maybe it does need to be smooth sandstone. How do you make smooth sandstone? So that's just sandstone. Okay. Well, we can do that. I didn't realize it had to be a specific ver version of the sandstone. Okay. So there is 32 farm blocks. Great. So we got that going. Uh, next step was to make the farm hatch valve and gearbox. And let's see, let's go to the gearbox. So that is three gears. The hatch is two more. So we need a total of five and the valve is one. So we need six gears. Ah, so much more tin. All right. I believe that's what 24 tin, right? So we can take this down here and use our gear thingy Put that back. All right, we can start gearifying the tin ingots. Having this metal press just makes things so much easier. Before everything was such a pain that you had to melt it down and then wait for it to melt and then cast it out and all of that. Now it's just like, oh, you have the ingots? Now you can just go ahead and make the gears directly. Ah, it's so much better. Um, I also did end up putting a chest over here on our automated workbench and I verified that the conveyor belts do drop them into that chest so we don't have to worry about things despawning if we go off and do other such things. Um, so the farm gear box, this is the one we're going to want to do. Yeah, let's go start making this stuff. So we need one of these plus three of those. Okay. Uh, the gear box is done. We need the hatch. So that is a trap door of some description. And I don't know if I have any trap doors. It doesn't look like it. So how do we make trap door in this mod pack? We make that with the plant twine and the wood pins. Okay. So we have plant twine Well, we can make it. Wood pin is a stick sawn in half. I do believe that and this, yep. There's our wood pins. Okay. And then we just need some kind of planks. I think that'll be just fine. Okay, so we, there's our six planks, our pins, plus our plant twine. There's our trap doors. Uh, so making the farm hatch, that's one farm block, one trap door, two tin gears. There it is. Okay, so there's the farm hatch. Uh, so we have the gearbox, we have the hatch. Now we need the valve. In fact, I think we need two valves. You know what? I should have looked. Was it two valves or two hatches? It is two hatches. Okay, so we have to do another one of those, which I don't have enough stuff. Hmm, of course. Uh, yeah, so we need two more tin gears. I definitely miscounted how many that we were going to need. Okay, well, let me get these things processed. I'll make the rest of these parts and we'll be right back. Cool, so I made the other farm hatch. Here's our farm valve. So that should complete everything for the farm. Yeah, quest complete automating crops. Now, the only thing is, 
we don't really have power where this automatic farm would go. Um, but yeah, it is talking about green power here with biogas and a fermenter. So with the farm, I can make better power. Here we go. Okay, so things are starting to happen here. I'm liking this. Uh, so the fermenter and biogas engine. You know what? Before we go down that path, let's just take a look here at the new art of crafting. So this wants us to make a tungsten steel ingot and luminescence. Tungsten steel ingot. Let's take a look at that. Uh, tungsten steel ingot. How do we make one of those in this? So we need dust, black, iron. You know what? I think there's probably going to be another recipe to do this, isn't there? Yeah, tungsten ingot plus steel ingot in the alloy kiln. So how do we get tungsten? Have we received a tungsten yet? I'm actually not entirely sure. Polarized coal, crushed black. Tungsten, tungsten. Oh, we do have tungsten. Okay. So we need to smelt one of these. Let's take that out of here, turn it into... Oh, I thought you could turn it into mini charcoal in this pack. You know what? Let's smelt. Let's smelt eight of these then. Okay, so we need one tungsten ingot, and then put that in the alloy kiln with a steel, and then we can make tungsten steel. Now, how many tungsten steel did we end up needing... It just says it wants one and one, and then it wants the basic crafting table. The basic crafting table costs what? Oh boy. Okay, so refined circuit board, crafting component, tungsten steel plate. Okay, so that is two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we need 19 of those. Oh boy, that is a lot in order to get this done. Okay, well, I mean, that's doable. We do have, do we have this going over here? This stopped because of the slag. Dang it, I forgot to remove slag when I was getting this going. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff that we can start doing here, but that's gonna take a while for all of that to process. Let's go ahead, um, we will do all the tungsten, we'll get that smelter that we're going to need. Okay, so we already have eight of those, we'll process the other 16. Uh, that'll give us a total of 24. You know what, we should probably do half a stack, I think. Let's just do half a stack, get that thing going so we don't have to worry about it, uh, later. Okay, so we'll get that going. Um, the farm, I don't know how we're going to get this thing hooked up just right now because we don't really have power outside. Uh, if we can get Syngas going and get that um, this other thing up and running, that'll help us out. I think we will do this then. So biogas, engine, not Syngas, biogas and fermenter. Let's take a look at this. Biogas, engine, and fermenter. Okay, biogas engine. That does require a basic circuit board. So that's the same circuit board with tin nuggets and more acid. Okay. And then bronze gears, bronze plates, and a piston. The fermenter does require sturdy casing. So we need at least two more circuit boards. Got it. And then a bunch more bronze. Oh boy. Uh, we should have enough bronze for those gears for the fermenter. And then we need two more bronze gears. Man, that is so much bronze. So that is all gears 24, and then we need three plates. Well, all that bronze I just made, <laughs> yep, that's going to be gone. We have to make more of it. Forestry and its bronze usage. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we'll turn that into gears. I'm going to start the crafting process here, get more of the stuff going. We'll be back, guys. And after another round of crafting, we got some things going on here. So a biogas engine, we should have everything complete. Yeah, I made the basic circuit and the fermenter. There it is. Cool. So we have both of those things now done and we are able to get past the green power section. Well, I guess that's the end. Uh, that just gives us the ability to make better power, which, you know, I think is going to be quite good. That, in combination with setting up the forestry farm, I think is going to do us pretty well. Uh, let's set down the fermenter real quick and take a look at this. 
So if I remember correctly, you have to provide it with water, you have to provide it with some kind of fermenting material, and then you also have to provide it with like a fertilizer of some description. So all of three of those things together, after time, will start producing biomass or short meat, I guess. Um, and then we can also take the biomass and further refine that in a still. I don't know if we have the ability to craft a still. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so yeah, we can take the biogas, put it into a still, and make biofuel, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's take a look. Bio, oops, uh, biofuel? Is that a thing? Grassoline. I'm not sure what grassoline is. Biofuel from industrial foregoing. Mm, you know what? Let's take a look at biogas. Is that what the stuff is that we're making here? No, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. Hold on a second. So fermenter shows a recipe for biomass. That's what it's called, biomass. And if we take a look at the uses of biomass, yeah, we can put it through a fractioning still. That's not what we want. We want the still. So we put that through the still and then we get ethanol, right? They changed it. E-T-H-A-N-O-L, ethanol. So ethanol, we can then put into other things to get more power. Uh, it says we can put it into the compression dynamo. I'm pretty sure though that we can still put it through uh, the biogas engine, maybe, maybe not. Maybe this does have to uh, receive <laughs> biomass only. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, this also needs lava. It has to be heated up in order for this thing to get going. But once it's going, it's already at temperature. You don't use any lava. It's only if you turn it off and then turn it back on again that it uses the lava. It's been a little bit of time since I last used these machines. So we'll probably end up taking a look at this next time. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how we're going to set up power or yeah, get our initial power going to get the forestry farms up and running. Maybe we'll just uh, make some biomass downstairs and then move that to our location where the farm is going to be at and then look at hooking up the automation for it. Either way, I think it should be kind of interesting getting that thing going and having some form of power and, uh, yeah, I guess fuel that we can move around. That's going to be really awesome. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.